Hi everyone, I am ACC Disha Chauhan and I am here today to share a tutorial with you of how to really access the study hub. So if you already don't know, ACC has launched its study hub. What is this study hub ma'am? So study hub is basically a platform wherein they have put in the notes of all the various subjects of ACC. You will have your practice quizzes and you know flashcards and a lot more. So we'll be looking at each of those things today. So without wasting any time, let's start with the tutorial that how exactly one student can really access the study hub and make the best use out of it. So shall we start? Let's go. Alright, so the first thing that you can do is, you know, you can just type it out on Google ACCA Study Hub. That's what I'm going to do. You can actually just type Study Hub also and it might come. But let's just type Study Hub ACCA or ACCA Study Hub, right? So after that, the first link, as you can see, you just have to click on that ACCA Study Hub and, you know, the page will load on. So then you have to go to the bottom of the page, right? Now you will have two options here. You could either log in via your My ACCA or you could do alternate login. Both are just straightforward. You will have to put in your ID and password. So let's just do with the alternate login. So I've clicked on that and then you'll be redirected to your My ACCA page. And once you put in your, you know, your credentials, you'll be straight, a, straight away taken to the study hub. So it's fairly simple, not much happening to be done so I'm putting in my user ID and I'm putting in the password so this is something that all of the students would already be having right if you are a registered ACC student this is something that you would already have so you just have to put in your username and the password username is basically your ACC ID then I've clicked on sign in and there you go this is your ACCA study hub. So you can see here, you will be, uh, you know, you can see the first part is basically you could see your, uh, when were you last active, your progress details, all of that. And in the bottom, these red things, the bright in red, these are the uh, things wherein you have to click to really see or access the study hub for the various uh, subjects that are there. So as you already know, ACC has these three levels. You have your knowledge, skill and professional. So I will be taking you of each subject of these levels to show you how exactly the study hub is. Actually, it's pretty much the same for everything. It's not like level wise there's any much difference, but we'll still go through it. So let's start with the knowledge level. Let's, you know, actually go to your management accounting. All right, you have to just click on that plus sign. You'll be uh, then seeing the screen wherein you have what was the progress, when did you last uh, really visited, all of that. So you could just then click on go to exams and then you'll be redirected to specifically the management accounting section only for this particular subject. Right, so this is just a feedback thing. I'll do it, remind me later. All right, so here we are in management accounting. So you can see you have your introductory pages uh, and of course, then you have chapter wise, the entire section, you have chapter one, chapter two, and so on and so forth. And each chapter you can see has various sections also. Now, uh, this is obviously since ACC has built the study hub, it is as per the latest syllabus, which is there published on the ACC website. So you don't have to worry about that. It is more comprehensive and detailed, uh, no doubt in that. And one disadvantage is that you can't really download these notes, like you can't really download it in a PDF file or something like that. Uh, but if you are a Fintrama, you don't have to worry about that. We any which ways provide you with the Fintram notes, which are, uh, you know, uh, uh, any which ways updated by the latest syllabus area uh, whatever ACC has published and our notes are downloadable also but ACC study also I would say is a good place for you all to come visit see the various sections maybe there's one particular topic you want to you know read more about it so you can do that and of course there are practice and sessions there are quizzes flashcards so I will definitely say do give it a try so let's start off with the first thing so let's say you want to see chapter one you just want to know about the internal sources. So you don't even have to go through the one by one, like one page and turn it. You can just click on internal sources and I'll be just directed towards that. I can read whatever I want to from here. And there are other things that you can do too. You can see that there is a highlight section. So I click on that. And if I feel like highlighting something, I can basically highlight it, right? So uh, I click on then highlight, it has highlighted. If I want to remove the highlight, I again select it. I click on remove highlight and it will do the same. 
then I could go on another section by either this way using the above arrows you can see here or I just click on again on chapters and I'm again on that page. So let's say I want to read about direct and indirect labor. So I just go on to that. Let's say I want to bookmark this section. Maybe I feel that, okay, I need to come back again on it, read furthermore. So I could just bookmark this. Let's say I need to take some uh, notes. I need to record a note on this section. I can do that as well. You know, all of that is available. And then you could see your notes over in this section. I don't have any notes. That's why it shows this. Uh, if I bookmark something which I just did and you can see it has appeared. So all of this and again if you have highlighted something that will also appear but I don't have highlights anywhere in this section and the earlier one also I removed. So that is something that ACC has really come up with and I think it's really beneficial for you know all you students and I would suggest everyone to take a look at it because it's a great platform that they have really built on so why not take the you know, make the best use out of it. It's any which way is free. If you are a registered ACC student, you have your ID and password, right? So why don't you just log in and try out these things? All right, then what are the other things? So let's, uh, you know, now change the subject. Let's go to a uh, skill level subject. Let's take audit and assurance, for example. How would this look? It will look in the same manner. So the page is loading and in a moment you will just see it's the same layout. You know, you have chapter wise, section wise, bifurcation. So you have this chapter in this. There are various sections on which any section you can click to really study onto that. And after every chapter, you can see this. There is a conclusion wherein you have your syllabus coverage, you have your summary and quiz and your technical articles also. So you have everything at one place. So I think that's a great advantage, right? So let's look at something else. Let's look at quizzes. So you can go to quizzes and you can see chapter wise you have so many quizzes, so many questions. And we always say if you want to clear ACC exam, make sure you practice, right? you must practice as much as possible. So ACC here is giving you so many questions to practice. So make the best use out of it. So let's open chapter one quiz. You just open, you do start, start quiz. I'm not reading, I'm just clicking on anything. You do confirm, you move on to the next and so on and so forth. You could pause the quiz also if you want to, you know, come back later and you could just do pause quiz and it will be shown here that how much you have done, what was your score and in the end, you know, answers and everything is also shown. Practice is also there, you know, it has, over here you can see there are question wise they have sent that uh, revision cases from chapter 1, uh, other chapters, uh, you have your constructed response revision questions also. So in your knowledge level, you would have your MTQs also here. But this Since this is skill level, you have these type of questions and you can just click on any and, you know, just start your practice. So again, a very good platform, I would say to, you know, everything is at one place and you can easily just log in and practice. So you just read what, what are the requirement is, you plan your answer, right? You can type in here, you can then just confirm. So that is how one could do. Let's look at another subject of now let's professional level. All right, let's go to, uh, let's go to SBR. All right, SBR International. And that's a professional level subject. So let's see how the study hub really uh, is looking at. So again, same way, like I said, chapter one, you have certain sections. Another chapter, some sections. At the end, again, like I said, syllabus coverage is there. Your summary and quiz is there, technical article. So it's the, on the same line, whether you are at knowledge level, you know, skill level or professional level. So you all you need to do is just start your journey and just log in. Same things, notes, bookmark, highlights. Flashcards is also there for all the levels. I'm just showing in this. So let's say for ethics. Now, what is a flashcard? Something pops up. Now you need to answer. What is ethics? You answer and then you check. It's basically a set of moral principles guiding behavior. Did you answer it rightly? You can do yes, no, partly, right? And you can just move on. Safeguards. What is safeguards? You answer. So it's a great platform. You know, earlier when we used to study on our own, we would study something and we'd ask someone that, okay, we're repeating, just check if this is fine. Now everything is computerized. Your computer is only doing that for you. These are flashcards. You get one thing, you answer and you check, oh, did I answer it rightly? Do I know that concept? If not, I can, of course, read on to it. So like I said, it's a great platform and lots of questions, lots of study material, uh, many things are there. 
just one thing you can't download the study material but like i have shown you right you can highlight things so let's me let me just highlight one thing and then you know tell you where you could really see so i've highlighted this now let's go to highlight section right so in the highlight section that thing has come right that line only that line which i highlighted so it's actually a great uh, tool if you're using uh, just your computers or laptops for study this is great uh, other than that of course uh, fintram does provide with their own notes which you could of course use and you know highlight manually on your books and uh, on the printed version but this is also something which i would encourage every student to really use because you know there uh, there are so many things here you have your practice you have quizzes you have so many things flashcards why not make the best use out of it when i was doing acca we didn't have this right but now i feel that you you guys you students are really lucky that acca itself has provided you with this platform so make the best use out of it again once you're done you can simply just click on sign out you you'll be done and you can then again log in in the future whenever you want to study and all of these subjects you know you can see are there whichever you are appearing for and they have provided you with the date so this is the latest syllabus uh when the next you know period comes the dates would change they would update the syllabus as per that uh whatever the changes would have been done by the acca so it's a great section you can just click on one page study that go on to another section go on to another chapter you don't have to study the entire chapter um you know you don't have to search and find things you can just you know open the sections you can read okay maybe i need to focus on the related part issue so let me just study that so all of these benefits are there if the study hub and of course like i said quizzes and practice questions something which i would encourage all of you to be really going through even if you don't study the material at least you know attempt these quizzes and practice tests because why not right the more you practice the better it is going to be so here you can see you have your revision questions of exam section a of group entities this is for sbr of course which is a professional level paper section b questions are there some additional questions are there some study questions are there so so many questions just look at this many questions so you don't really have to worry that oh i am you know you have practiced few questions now what, where from where do i get the questions so acca itself has provided these questions so i would say that definitely have a look do log in to the study hub whenever you're giving for your acca exam whenever you enroll for that okay this attempt i'm going to be giving make sure uh, you know you keep on coming on to the study hub to practice something so if you're studying also if you let's say complete a chapter 1 you can just come on the study hub to give the quiz of chapter 1 i'm sure it's going to be really beneficial for you for more such informative videos do subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any other queries you can of course reach out always to the fintram team i wish you all the best and i would always say that definitely use this resource you know acc has really worked on it so make sure you are utilizing it All right thank you everyone this is ACC Disha Chauhan signing off